what we're getting ready to do is show how to do a micro topping on top of a uh, based board. This has already been based with a concrete restoration product like Sure Spray or Sure Broom. And um, it's been allowed to dry for 24 hours. Okay? We start off by saturating the surface with water. This will help ensure a good bond and prevent the coating that you're putting on top from drying out. It actually makes it easier to work with. Okay? Now this can go over precast pieces, it can go over floors, anything you want there for a trowel finish. We're just using normal steel trowel. I got a spray bottle of water on the mist to help if I need extra water. What we're using is Surecrete's micro topping, okay? It's a very creamy, thin material with a super fine sand in it for doing thin coats. And what I've got here is I've mixed the material to a thick consistency because I'm gonna use water to get it where I want. And the goal of this is to have it go down credit card thickness, okay? So I'm gonna come in. Put my, just what I call scratch coat, a light coat, get the piece covered. And then we can work on the finish we're trying to achieve. Now, the more you go over it, the more it'll look like a trial finish. And especially when you use a steel trowel and you go over it. And burn it. And it's a beautiful look for getting that rustic trowel look, that trowel finish on your piece. Keeping your surface wet will ease the application. Okay, so now we've got the whole piece coated. I'm going to try to remove the excess material. So that I have a credit card thickness piece. Now we can start working on our finish. We'll take it section by section until we get the look that we want. Bringing my excess material into part of the board. as we're moving through the piece. Again, we're trying not to make it perfect as we're going. We can give this sucker another lap and give it the exact finish we're looking for. And this may be the exact finish you are looking for. It certainly is desirable. You can stain it, go straight in the ceiling, depending on what your customer wanted. Alright, so if you zoom in and get a close-up of what we got here, 
you'll see that we have really good movement throughout the piece. But we can burn the piece as well from this steel prow. Watch what happens when I keep going over the same area. See how it's getting darker and darker? I'm turning in my trial finish. If you're trying to do that look, make it look like a hand finished precast piece or floor. Just keep going over it and over it. And I'm using a considerable amount of pressure to get that burn. I'll do about half the piece so we can see what part of it looks like and the other part doesn't. Really fast, really simple, and really easy. There you go. There you have it. You can see the difference in the two halves.